Hi everybody, Dizzy uh, Ros here, 1001. Um, I'm coming here with a video. I posted up my nails um, on Instagram and on Facebook and that and I got quite a few messages asking could I show how it was done because it was extra sparkly. Now I got this uh, information how to do this on Liverpool Lashes blog as she got told this at the event so because obviously people's asking I thought I'd do a little video showing and basically I'm just going to show four different colours I've got confetti pink which is an iridescent and I've got a capri in iridescent and then I've got a light I think it's yet yeah, ultra fine light, light gold no this one's sand sorry sand and holographic deep red so I've got like three different types of glitter. You've got the iridescent normal and a holographic to see the differences. Um, and basically what you want to do is if you're obviously doing it on a person's nails, then you need to you do your prep and your base coats and stuff. But I'm doing it on the pops. And <clears throat> basically I've already put a coat of clearly pink and cured um, four of the pops. So um, what I'm going to do is then going to take my brush I'm using the CND gel flat square brush hashtag six and you just gently want to press in the glitter into the nail pop now this will work with any of your Lucente glitters the shine I don't even think the camera really picks up the shine once you've done that you want to burnish it in so that's attached all now to the sticky layer. I then like to take my little makeup brush I've had for, I don't even know where I got it from to be fair, and I just really brush that in to make sure that that is properly embedded. So there's your one coat with that glitter. I'm just going to do all of, all of the glitter pops at the minute to get them all out of the way. So now we're going with the, did I say it was Capri? Yeah, Capri, I thought it was. Just get rid of that excess glitter off the other, from the other. And again, just gently press, tap it on into the sticky layer. Now this effect gives you more or less the same colour what, what is in the jar. Again, I'm just going to burnish that. I, I really love the iridescence, but it's just because it looks so different all the time in different lights. And now I've found out this new way I can get to see, look at them in uh, just that colour rather than it changing colour, because obviously the iridescent colours do change. Uh, depending on what colour is underneath. So again we're using the sand. I really like this sand, it's so nice and sparkly. Imagine, I don't think there's a Lacente colour out there I don't like. I, I, I used to use different glitters and now I'm just hooked on these. I just think they give the much better shine much better coverage, it's smooth, it's compact you don't get any of the bumpiness um, that yet I've found with other glitters again just gonna take off that excess a fan brush also works for this set, this uh, this bit that I'm doing as well so there's the sand get rid of that now onto the whole graphic can never see that whole graphic <laughs> And again, just tap it in. I love this holographic red. It just reminds me of, I am a bit obsessed at the minute with Wizard of Oz. And it just reminds me of the ruby red slippers. It's just so nice. So again, I'm going to burnish that down. Done. Right, so that's your four colour pops done. So now what you want to do is take your colour pink, clearly pink again, and we want to cover 
that on all four of the nail pops and pop it pop them into your lamp so I'll speed this bit up Right, so now we've had the uh, two coats and one coat of glitter, so now we are going to double coat the pop into the dispersion layer again, the sticky layer. And I don't know if the camera will do it, I'll just do it on half and see if the camera will pick it. I'm not sure on this because it's such a light colour. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. But I can see there's this big difference on that the top half of the pot to the bottom. And again, just keep, keep continuing. And then burnish that down into the sticky layer. I am just in love with this new technique. look at that shine I probably should have chose a much deeper but we have got a few selections to go at so we'll do that and then we're going to take the capri just get rid of the excess glitter off that these iridescents are just so pretty There's a second coat again. We've we've got all the uh, two coats on, so now we're going to top coat. Top tip: I always have a separate top coat for my glitters because there's nothing worse if a client didn't want glitter and you've got glitter inside your top coat. And then I also mark the lid with a bit, just a bit of glitter, some of it's come off now, just with a bit of glitter so I know that this is my glitter shellac top coat. So we're going to top coat all of these. the time in the lamp and this is the pinky one what colour was it again confetti pink and just look at that shine that is just pure amazing now I'll we'll just get rid of this, have the Capri. I say I really think you get a really good shine with the iridescent ones. Just look at that. It's just so so pretty and ultra ultra sparkly. And then we have the sun. You just cannot get disappointed with these, they're just so, so pretty. And they're so really good, like, price, the 3 99 plus VAT. And the pots last forever, well they don't last forever, but they last a long time. And that's your holographic red. 
I mean, just imagine that at Christmas. That is just so, so pretty. So that's how the new way of how you can apply the Lacente glitters. And you can purchase these from Sweet Squared or I got mine from the Creative Academy Manchester. I like to go to the shop. Well, that's where you can get these online. I'm not sure if Ellison sell them too. Um, and hope you've enjoyed this video and give it a try. And love to see your results. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.